first I am starting out with Cindy from the Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and then I am going in with the shade Stev. I actually forgot to put Cindy on the other eye, honestly, but these shades are so, so blendable that if you make a mistake, it's so, so easy to just blend it out and diffuse it. For eyeliner today, I thought I would go in with a nude eyeliner. So this is just Risqué by MAC. This really helps open up the eyes. This is just perfect for springtime, any type of like daytime look. For highlight, I am just going into my blush and bronzer palette by Coastal Scents and I am just going to start off by highlighting the cheekbones and after that I am going into the contour shade and I am just going to bronze up the skin. If I am filming or shooting content in a day, I definitely make sure that I don't skip this step just because I can just really tell the difference in photos and in videos. Yeah, I mean, I just look a lot more sculpted when I do contour and I just love the way that it looks. I feel like it really helps the whole makeup look come together and especially when you are filming or doing photography, it just makes you look so, so good and photogenic, if that makes any sense. For the bottom lash line, I went ahead and dipped my brush into chai. Concealer. I am just using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer in the shade Fair Light. I like doing this when I know that I want to just make the look look a lot more put together again. <laughs> I also decided to kind of like bring it out like a wing so that it would just be a, a subtle type of cut crease. Going in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in the shade, cause I'm black, I am just going to start making my wing. I literally just do the same thing every single time. Um, it is easier for me to do it when my brows are done, just because it's easier to kind of measure it out how I want it. But other than that, it literally just takes practice. There are tons of ways to do this, and it's just best to do it however you like. always gonna get some attention from me. Okay, now I am going into Bowie. And I really love adding more dimension on the lower lash line because again, it makes you look so, so photogenic 
and I don't know, it just looks amazing. That's all I gotta say. For freckles, I am using Freck. As you guys can see, I already added some before starting the video, but after adding highlighter and bronzer and all that stuff, I thought I would add some more just to make them pop. For mascara, I am using the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara. And for lipstick, I am using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. To finish off the lips, I am taking my lip gloss from Dose of Colors in the shade Honey I'm Home, and I am just placing that on top. For setting spray, I am using my fave setting spray at the moment, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. And that is the finished look, you guys. I freaking love this look. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do a light makeup glam type of look, but I love this look. Let me know if you guys love this look as well. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.